Pope St. John XXIII was the head of the Catholic Church and sovereign of the Vatican City State from October 28, 1958, until his death on June 3, 1963. His feast day is celebrated every October 11. Born Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli on November 25, 1881, at Sotto il Monte, a village in the province of Bergamo, Lombardy, he was the fourth among 13 children born to Mariana Mazzola and Giovanni Battista Roncalli in a family of sharecroppers. In 1889, Angelo received both his first communion and confirmation at the age of eight. He entered the minor seminary in 1892 at the age of 11. On March 1, 1896, he was enrolled into the secular Franciscan order and professed his vows as a member of the said order on May 23, 1897. On August 10, 1904, Angelo completed his doctorate in canon law and was ordained a priest in the Catholic Church of Santa Maria in Monte Santo in Piazza del Popolo in Rome. In 1905, the new bishop of Bergamo, Giacomo Rodini Tedeschi, appointed Father Angelo as his secretary. He worked for Bishop Giacomo until the bishop's death on August 22, 1914, two days after the death of Pope Pius X. It is said that Bishop Giacomo's last words to Father Angelo were, Angelo, pray for peace. The bishop's death had a deep effect on Roncalli. During this period, Father Angelo was also a lecturer in the diocesan seminary in Bergamo. During World War I, Father Angelo was drafted into the Royal Italian Army as a sergeant, serving in the medical corps as a stretcher bearer and as a chaplain. After being discharged from the army in early 1919, he was named spiritual director of the seminary. On May 7, 1921, Father Angelo was appointed a domestic prelate of His Holiness, which gave him the title of Monsignor. Later that year, he met with Pope Benedict XV who appointed him as the Italian president of the Society for the Propagation of the Faith. In February 1925, he was appointed the apostolic visitor to Bulgaria. A month later, Pope Pius XI also appointed him titular Archbishop of Areopolis, Jordan. On November 30, 1934, he was appointed Apostolic Delegate to Turkey and Greece and titular Archbishop of Mesembria, Bulgaria. During this time, Roncalli used his office to help thousands of Jewish refugees in Europe. On February 10, 1939, Pope Pius XI died which coincided with his mother's dying days. He was unable to see his mother as he stayed during the nine days of mourning for the late Pope until the election of a new pontiff, Cardinal Eugenio Pacelli, who will be known as Pope Pius XII. Roncalli's close relations with the Jews led him to convince Bulgaria's King Boris III to cancel the deportations of Greek Jews during the Nazi occupation of Greece in 1940. During the Second World War, he used his diplomatic means as apostolic nuncio to save as many Jews as he could by obtaining safe passage for them. Many of his efforts are well documented. After 1944, he played an active role in gaining Catholic Church support for the establishment of the State of Israel. Later that year, Pope Pius XII named him the new apostolic nuncio to recently liberated France. In this capacity, he negotiated the retirement of bishops and prelates who collaborated with the Nazi Germans. On January 12, 1953, he was appointed Patriarch of Venice and raised to the rank of Cardinal Priest of Santa Prisca by Pope Pius XII. As a sign of his esteem, French President Vincent Auriel bestowed upon him the Red Beretta at a ceremony in the Elysee Palace. It was around this time that he, with the aid of Monsignor Bruno Heim, formed his coat of arms with a Lion of St. Mark on a white ground. President Auriel also awarded Cardinal Roncalli the commander of the Legion of Honor. Following the death of Pope Pius XII on October 9, 1958, Roncalli went to the conclave in Rome and after 11 ballots, with a total of 38 votes, he was elected to succeed the late Pius XII. On the choice of his papal name, he told the cardinals, I will be called John, a name sweet to us because it is the name of our Father, dear to us because it is the name of the humble parish church where we were baptized, 
the solemn name of numberless cathedrals scattered throughout the world, including our own basilica. 22 Johns of indisputable legitimacy have been Pope, and almost all had a brief pontificate. We have preferred to hide the smallness of our name behind this magnificent succession of Roman pontiffs. Upon his choosing the name, he declared that he was John the Twenty-Third, thus affirming the anti-papal status of Antipope John the Twenty-Third. On January 25, 1959, Pope John the Twenty-Third called for an ecumenical council and announced it at the Basilica of Saint Paul outside the walls. Prior to the first session of the council, he visited Assisi and Loreto to pray for the new upcoming council and to mark the feast day of Saint Francis of Assisi. From the Second Vatican Council came changes that reshaped the face of Catholicism, a comprehensively revised liturgy, a stronger emphasis on ecumenism, and a new approach to the world. In 1963, Pope John XXIII established a commission of six non-theologians to investigate questions of birth control. He also believed that the sacrament of marriage is indissoluble as a union in God, therefore, against the teachings of the Church for a married couple to divorce. He also advocated for human rights which included the unborn and the elderly. He wrote about human rights in his encyclical Pacem, Man has the right to live. He has the right to bodily integrity and to the means necessary for the proper development of life, particularly food, clothing, shelter, medical care, rest, and, finally, the necessary social services. In consequence, he has the right to be looked after in the event of ill health, disability stemming from his work, widowhood, old age, enforced unemployment, or whenever through no fault of his own he is deprived of the means of livelihood. On September 23, 1962, Pope John XXIII was diagnosed with stomach cancer. On June 3, 1963, at the age of 81, Pope John XXIII died of peritonitis caused by a perforated stomach, ending a historic pontificate of four years and seven months. His papacy may have been short yet he achieved a lot. His spirit of humble simplicity, profound goodness, and deep life of prayer radiated in all that he did, and inspired people to affectionately call him, Good Pope John. His cause for canonization was opened under Pope Paul VI during the final session of the Second Vatican Council. On September 3, 2000, John XXIII was declared blessed by Pope John Paul II. He was canonized by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square on April 27, 2014, alongside the man who beatified him, Pope St. John Paul II. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.